Hello, I'm Courtney and today I'm going to do a hair tutorial which is a take on the Candyman curls. Um, instead of doing the curls at the front, I'll do them at the back and I'll do false bangs um, as well with a headband. Um, as you can see, I've got my hair in pink curls, so I'm going to take them out and hope for the best and hopefully you can see that like I've kind of done them in rows. Um, it's a bit messy, but I have. Um, so yeah. And when you're taking them out, you have to just be careful not to pull out the whole curl. But just take them out and it should just come out. I, when I did my pink curls, I sectioned off my hair. Um, I started with the top section here and I worked all the way around to both sides. And then I went back and did rows underneath. Um, and I curled my hair under instead of going on the top. I curled it from the underneath. So it, it's a different curl than it doesn't like to stay on the top of your head, if that makes sense. And obviously you can do both. Now, when you do pink curls, it's, if you're going to do them with curling tongs, it's easy to let your hair set for about 15 minutes before you start styling them, because otherwise they just drop out. Okay, that's all out. Okay, so just with your fingers, just kind of make sure that they all go in the same way, your curls. And then all I'm going to do um, is take my smoothing brush. And I'm just going to literally take my hair up to one side, like all the way to the back. And I'm just going to, with my fingers, just smooth out the top before I even do anything and then I'm just going to brush not even to the curl I'm just going to brush it up and then I'm just going to tie that in a hairband and we can come back to that in a minute And then all I'm going to do, as you can see, I've sectioned off um, the front section of my hair and I'm just going to do some um, quick and easy false bangs. Um, you don't have to curl this section if you don't want to. Mine's kind of, kind of set already because I've had it in this style before. So all I'm going to do is wrap it around my finger quite tightly as well. And then I'm just going to pin it inside so you can't see where I pin it. Now this this all depends on how my, how tight you want it and how So I normally do about three or four pins in my false bangs. Um, and I always get some bit here, so it's always nice to even them out a little bit before you put your last couple of grips in. And then if you have any any leftover bits of hair, just tuck them straight in. And then you can just pull it out a little bit. 
I always get a funny bit here. Okay, so then I'm just going back to the curls. I'm literally going to take the hairband out because it's now out of the way. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take bobby pin like this. So all I've done, there's my hair, and all I've done is I've just taken it all the way to the top and twisted it straight on top like that. And I'm just going to put a couple of bobby pins in to secure it. But you don't really want to pin the top bit of the curls because you want to kind of throw that back. Just let that hang. Okay, like that. And all I'm going to do, I've got a bandana. All I'm going to do is fold the corner in like this. And I'm going to put the corner at the bottom of my hair. Throw my head back and tie a knot. And that's my take on the Candyman curls um, with Full Spang's hair tutorial.